Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Jasmine Shrinks and welcome to part 6 of Motorsport Manager. So here we are, we're going to be moving on to the Beijing race. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, to start off with qualification. Um, top speed is crucial, low speed corners is crucial and acceleration is useful. So top speed we're looking for... Long gear ratios, I reckon? Um, how is it on tyre wear? Fuel burns low, tyre wear is medium. I'm just going to go for a 555. Maybe across the board? I think about practice. We're going to want to use the supers. We're going to use at least one, probably a pair of supers, a set of supers, and a set of softs during practice. During, indeed. Um, that will help us get the tyre knowledge, help the wear on it. Um, probably do us a favour actually to do that. Yeah, I think that is what I am going to go with. I'm going to turn the in-game sound down a little bit because I feel like I'm shouting over it. There we go, it's a little bit better. Um, so with that in mind, I want to drop the mediums off and do it like that. And I think I do. Yeah. That sounds good. Everyone's got the best parts we can possibly have right now. And I suppose we're going to see what will happen. We did get the new suspension. Um, but the reliability was poor. I can't remember if we put it on the car or not. I think Fernando was quite pissed if I remember in the last episode. Excuse me. Um, from being given the better, better performance part. But certainly lower quality when it comes to reliability. So it's almost like as soon as we build a new part, we need to get our reliability work done. Um, I don't know if, even if it's worth going for performance parts, performance upgrades, just really go for getting the extra uh, just like knowledge from building more engines. So when it comes to next season, if I'm still employed by next season, um, is that we will keep, um, <clears throat> we'll keep those parts and hopefully get a head start. So car setup. What are we going to do? So it's important to have decent wings. And usually want 10 different. So if that's 16, that wants to be 26 ish. I don't know if Canva makes a difference, but it does actually. I'm going to give that a tweak. Handling. Oh, that's outside of the area. of handling but maybe that'll come in with the downforce changes as well tire pressure i've never really messed with but one tick of tire pressure down will push us towards the handling area that they want to be gear ratios i'm just going to stick it up to maximum to be quite honest and in terms of suspension setup maybe go two ticks upwards towards the hard push it again into that handling space and I'm not going to go for the mediums. No, I'm going to get him to do his first stint on the super softs. Or am I? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's medium on track on a tyre wear. I'm going to want the super softs at some point for qualification wise. What's the difference in performance? It's like quarter of a star, a third of a star difference in terms of speed and durability hmm so let's go with the softs first and then with Stoffel I'm going to try and take a similar approach with Stoffel set up as well at least we can get then some sort of baseline between the two cars or the two drivers um, and maybe do it that way that was the wrong way wasn't it um, still up to a hundred percent was that two ticks up it was wasn't it um, I'll let Stoffer run the supers this time get some knowledge for both tyres um, and continue into the practice I'm going to take the practice there may be a point where I don't want to take practice anymore as the RNG 
type of uh, running in this game. I, I believe it's a, a random number generator in how drivers react to uh, practice and how the car set up. It's purely a, a guessing game. Um, and that may get boring very quickly. But with that in mind, how do I get the car set up properly? And the answer is I truly don't know. Oh, well, the guy's going out of mediums for the practice. I mean, I'm here for tyre knowledge, unless mediums is going to be the strongest tyre this weekend. Maybe we'll do a run on these, and then we'll go both go out on the mediums. That's what we. That's what maybe we'll, we will do. And run the mediums for quite a long stint in the race. Hmm, there's plenty of options at least. Quite a long track as well in soap. When I say it's quite a long track, it's got quite a large amount of straights. <clears throat> so we want to see how we uh, how we're doing. See, stuff has just come out straight. Even though we were the first out, everyone is out. I mean, we're looking at car arrows. Good. We're looking at car setup more than anything else instead of overall pace handling. Is feeling superb. That's good. I'm assuming that they're both happy with the aero. Is what they're saying. Okay, so Van Dorn goes purple for personally set to, as does Alonso. I think I'm the first cast to actually get a lap in here. 141. 140? It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to tick the speed up now. Handling's good. Aero's good. So they're both happy with the handling and the aero, which is nice. Hopefully that'll give us a bit more of a feeling. What are the other guys? They're all the other guys are running mediums still. Perez goes fastest now. Gear ratios are nice as well. Damn. Van Dorn's happy with the um, gear ratios as well. Okay, this is um, sitting quite good. So what's everyone else running? Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Bottas, Verstappen. Grosjean, what's Vettel? Vettel's running the mediums, Hamilton's running the mediums. And then Vettel's just putting the fastest lap on the mediums. But I suppose we're not actually setting everything to go balls to the wall fast, are we? So I'm assuming the guys are going to be making their in-laps very soon now. Yeah, Van Dorn and Alonso both coming on their in-laps. So they seem happy with the happy with the setup. And then on those laps with the soft tyres we've just gone, although we had just gone first and second briefly. And Don's going to come in first, and we'll have a quick nosy at his car and see what the deal is. Pause. So we've got excellent, excellent, and good in terms of speed balance. We're not going to be able to give him much more speed balance. The gear ratios are maxed. I think we're gravy. Everything seems pretty good. And as, as if on cue, my son's bunny starts doing his thing again. Well, it wouldn't be a video without the uh, the rabbit making a frigging noise, would it? Yeah, all right. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we've got some race trim. We're only up to level... Do you want to get some quality trim as well? Um, we're only up to level three on quality trim. I think we're going to stick with race trim. I'm going to send him out on the medium tyres. And I'll do the same with Nando. He's good and great. So good, good, great. I'm kind of comfortable with that. Um, quality trim. Three laps. Mediums. Go. Actually, I don't know how many tyres are set. Uh, Van Dorn up to go out on so might have been a bit of a, a new mistake on my part there I 
I'll get some knowledge for the qualification trim. We've got nearly level three on race. The race trim is level three. Work on the medium tire knowledge. Our force is good, he's happy with that. So what I'm wondering is are the mediums going to be the tyre of choice for a long stint or a long run? And with that in mind I need to get a lap in in Q2 in the mediums to get me into Q1. And if I can get what what's my times coming out? 139. So he's just done a 139.8 on the mediums. So the medium is becoming the faster tyre as well. Which is great. Because I think we finished this session on these mediums. We get as much knowledge as we can. We need to remember Q2, if we get into Q2, to fit the mediums. And then we take it from there. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So Q1, let's go with the supers. Bang out a lap. Get us through. Q2, mediums. Assuming what's the weather like for the race weekend. Didn't say fully. But then Vettel... I don't know because he's just nearly done us by by um, by two seconds there. Maybe the long game is what we play. I think that's what we go for. Uh, I do. I think that is what we uh, we push for. We go for the long game. Hamilton's only just beaten us. What's his um? What's he pushing at? So he's not exactly maxing out his engine speeds or anything like that. Although if they're both on in-laps now, it isn't going to make the blindness bit of difference. I'm just going to put that up a tick. We'll go after some more qualifying trim on the current mediums see if that will give us any, any positive results we're going to change the suspension up one tick so we'll see how that goes Van Dorn is really happy with the way things are going right now gone faster on the mediums so let's um, I can give him a, an uptick as well I had to send him out on quality trim, so that's uh, that's my bad on that. I really made a mess of that. But we get them out, we get, we get them both out on mediums, I think, for the race. So he's still happy with his aero. Interesting to know how you're handling the top speed is since I've given you that extra tweak to your suspension on both cars for that matter. with the handling I haven't much watched much of Alonso at the moment but I'm alright with that set of knowledge is high these guys have gone onto mediums again as well we are now on a, on a well and truly used set of mediums session's coming to an end as well actually so we should get a lap in. Practice has come to an end. All right, I am. Um, I feel pretty good about that. It seems like the um, the best I've done in terms of qualifying in practice and getting the car set up in a long time. Speed looks okay. In fact, Van Dorn is a uh, interesting. Oh well, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But Van Dorn looks to be the faster driver this, week, this race weekend. Okay. Let's 
Excuse me one second guys, I'm just literally going to put a very quick cut in here while I see what this rabbit's doing because he's messing around with his bowl trying to get some food out so I'll just give him a little hand, it won't be a second, I'm going to put a cut but I'll come straight back. And I'm back in the room, so yeah that's sort of that out. He's now looking at me a bit grumpily because I took his bowl away from him, even though it was actually empty so who knows what that was all about. Okay so I think we're going to take the medium tyres and the qualification trim for quali and again medium and quali as well because that's what we want to really do our best performance on car setup we're going to leave as is i'm going to take qualification as well for this pause send out right so we are going for we're going to set the first lot on the super softs just let's get a, a set of super softs used get the timing and job done um, same goes for stoffel as well Super softs, get the fast lap and get this done. Um, what we want to do is to make sure that we put the auto set up on the cars immediately. Right, because I cannot do it as well as they can. Let's get the speed up. <coughs> Excuse me. Brakes are overheated, that's no problem. And we'll get everything nice and cool and, well, nice and warm anyway on the cars. Um, hopefully Van Dorn will not hold up Alonso or vice versa for that matter. But everything's warmed up and ready to go. Let's go boys. Straight into frigging traffic. Why are you battling him? Why is that who is that frigging knobhead? He's not even done a fast lap, is that dude? Yeah, he's, uh, he's blocking him. Okay, 138 dead for Van Dorn. Alonso not far, far, far behind. That's going to give us enough to get through. I hope it will anyway. Should do. What's the weather going to be like for the rest of the day? Hot or ridiculously hot? That's fine. We'll get him on the in lap. I think we um, we just sit and wait this through now. There's no point doing another lap. Through to Q2. No, you're not going out. There's no point. Save the tyres. Save the engine. Save the wear on the engine. Save the wear on well all the parts to be quite honest as well. Final minute, Van Dorn's in third, Alonso's in sixth. <coughs> Excuse me, so what we do is we get through this session. Next session, Q2. We set a time on the mediums. We bring the cars in. I think that's what we try, and that is what we're going to do. It could be completely the wrong strategy, honestly, I, have, I literally have no idea. But I, I want to run long in this first stint if possible. And starting on the mediums is going to help us with that. Assuming we get the timing to get us through to Q2. Again we should do. So these are going to be our race start mediums. Although... Kind of doubting myself now. Because in practice. So we've got 138 1. Let's see how they do on the mediums. 138 1. Is what we need. And 138 dead. If not, we can do a quick super soft change, uh, change onto the supers and get the cars out again. Could be a bad idea, could be a good idea. I mean, look, look how the computer is actually doing the clear air optimizations on the cars to get them up to speed. 
We've got 137.8 on supers. Stop battling each other, please, boys. Van Don's got a new fastest sector as well. In 38.2. Is that going to get us through? I wonder. Possibly not, Van Dorn's already dropping down. I think I send Van Dorn out. On a set of used supers. Six to eight laps, two to four laps. Ty's going to be hanging out of their ass by the time he gets to actually do his fly flying laps. He'll have his warm up lap. <coughs> then he'll have his flying lap. Cool down doesn't really matter so much. I think I need to send him out on the new set of tyres. I really would like to keep Alonso on these mediums. So we've got some Grosjean, Van Dorn, Science, obviously Van Dorn out on their outlap. The track is quite empty. Magnussen's going for another run. We need to just hang on for a minute, uh, please, Fernando. I can get you out on these mediums for a longer run, or a longer stint. That'll be um, that'll be just superb. No, that wasn't great at all, Van Don. And you probably knacked it as well. Um, little chance of us getting out another lap. So this is now your in lap and time's end. So you had your one chance and you balls it up. So Van Dorn is on the cusp. Grosjean hasn't done it. We need Hartley or Stroll. Okay, so Van Dorn made it through as did Alonso. I think Van Dorn may have set his fastest lap on the mediums anyway. But Alonso is in fourth for Q2 on the mediums. So now Q3, do you want to just go for a super soft run again? I think we do. I think that's what we're going to do. Q2 tyres are locked for the mediums. Doesn't really matter what we do now. <clears throat> yeah, so his mediums are locked. So, I mean, let's go for a super soft and, uh, and absolutely go for it. So, I'll get Alonso out first for a few seconds ahead of Van Dorn. So, do that. And Van Dorn. So his supers are locked, so he did get the fastest time for Q2 on the supers. So we'll send him out on another set. Nope, oh, cancel that, need to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably going to get hassled by traffic anyway again. As the other cars come out onto the track. Uh, 
Uh, he might be getting a fairly clear run. There are a couple of cars ahead of him. <coughs> it's not close enough to cause us any problems right now. Not too sure how the uh, how the physics work in the game at all. If there's any such thing as slipstream. That I do not know. <coughs> I imagine challenging for positions though is going to slow you down. 137.5. 137 flat, so that's half a second faster. So everyone should be on the in lap, and I am tempted now just to send them both back out again. So pause, send out. New set of supers. Go. Auto's on. Send out. New set of supers. We're going to use them all. Got a few cars on their in-laps. We're on our out-lap. So by the time they get in and we get around, track should be clear, I'm going to hope. Sainz Jr. is now on his outlet but behind us. Oh, we're going to be looking at a clear track run here. Grip is high which is good. 300th of a second down from first in the first sector second sector over half a second seven tenths yeah it's uh it's not good enough man see stoffel stoffel in seventh hasn't really improved end of the session coming up now and that's where we put a cut in so in the race, in part seven, we will be um, it will be race day. Alonso in third, Van Dorn in eighth. Alonso will be starting on the mediums for hopefully what will be a longer stint, and then we'll get him out on the super softs. Sorry, the softs for the, for the final part of the stint. Um, we able to have a quick over the check over the cars. I think the idea is with Alonso, medium tyres, long starting run, then we switch out onto the softs. How many laps are we on this on this one? I can't remember how many laps is on this track. It's not going to tell me. So with that in mind, um, I want to get the most out of the medium. I'm going to get the race trim. So the medium size is what is going to carry us to this victory. Um, and because I'm going to probably swap Stoffel out onto the medium, so we're going to do a bit of an overlap. We're going to go long with Fernando, short with Stoffel, and then Stoffel, uh, and then for the second stint, Fernando is going to have a, a short stint, and Stoffel will have a longer on the medium. That's the idea. Car setup is as is. I'm going to get him to push on tyre uh, fuel. Now, fuel on this track, but fuel burn is low. So we'll get them both on a overtake for fuel to start with. That should hopefully give them a decent start off the line and possibly a bit further up the grid, maybe one or two positions. But yeah, so anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in part seven for our Beijing race. Take care. Bye-bye now.